so guys today i'm going to be talking about uh about why i chose to study law which is why did i choose to study llb right hi guys welcome back to my channel you're chilling with the girl Patricia. And don't be a wonderful. Thank you so much, guys, for the love, for the support. It really means a lot. If you are new to my channel, please do the right thing and click on that subscribe button. I can see that you can see what your sis today put some lashes. It's my first time putting my lashes on by myself, and I must say that I did a pretty much good job for a first time. And yeah, so guys, today I'm going to be talking about um about why i chose to study law which is why did i choose to study llb right so yeah but this is going to be quite interesting i know a lot of you are like okay um you can speak you outspoken and yeah so we want to know with that and besides that uh, why you chose to study law so what happened is that uh, back in high school I'd, i'll never forget you guys um I was studying, I did, I did uh, physics, I did math and science and um, the interesting part about it is that I did a math and science, actually uh, from grade 9, remember you have to choose your subjects from grade 9, so from grade 9 I chose accounting and pure maths, a reason being my sister was doing accounting and pure math so i was of the opinion that you know what should i struggle with my studies she will be able to assist me there's test books you know i don't need to be going outside and looking for help so that's the sole reason why i chose um accounting and pure math i i i, I knew nothing about uh, why do I want to be an accountant? It had nothing to do with that. I didn't know anything about being an accountant. There was no career guide in terms of, guys, if you want to be this, this is what you have to choose. So we just went with it. So I remember choosing that. And I remember uh, first week of grade 10, actually first month, I did accounting, economics, uh, those subjects, pure maths and it was cool it was nice i was enjoying it i was with my peeps from grade nine friends you know sitting together having that connection like yes show me we're in the same class you know and i remember them coming and be like you know what this is an embarrassment apparently from the grade um nine learners from our school nobody chose a math and science nobody so math and science class it's empty and it being empty it's only new students coming from new schools so it can't be this is an embarrassment for the school so they have to make a choice there's learners that they will take from this class and the other classes depending on how good they did from their grade nine and uh, what do the teachers think their capabilities are and they will then uh, take them to their math and science class. I remember them taking me to my math and science class. I remember take, talking to my mom, I can't do it. This is not for me. And they called my mom for a parents meeting. My mom went and they convinced my mom. They was like, no, they were like, no, your child is so clever. She can do this, you know, we trust her, we trust her. And my mom was like, she, they were like, okay, she's gonna get um, opportunities, you know, bursaries for math and science students. They, you know, so my mom was sold. My mom was sold, just like, okay, 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 no, it's fine. She's gonna do math and science. I was like, this mom, she's selling me now. I had to now switch to math and science it was cool it was nice um i did medicine science grade 10 i did medicine science grade 11 i did um met and science grade 12 right but as i was doing medicine and science i was told that if you want to be to study law you have to have to do history and you have to do um life science and geography and uh, so forth so and i used to debate in school guys if you go to letara secondary school they'll tell you patricia she was one of the best debaters i used to be on soweto tv 
I used to uh, to go international debates. I remember doing international debates at Veritz and our topic for that year it was Japanese railing. Yes, that's when I had that topic. I was like, what's that? And we had to research, we had to research, but we did it, guys. And we were the only school from Soweto. We were the only school without a blazers. We were the only schools without name tags. You know, we were those kids were like and I was the only girl among the boys, right? It was Usem, Utiga, and Utibello. And I was the only girl. And we had no blazers. And I remember that time we had to prepare. I had, I did not have to, I didn't attend school for like, yeah, I didn't attend school. Now and then we have to go to Verts for the whole day of research. We had our mentor there. You know, we even had access cards for us to, for it to be easier for us to get in. Guys, it was lit. It was nice. Um, I enjoyed. I remember uh, during lunch breaks, we would go buy chips. Namachi hands, sale la payatik in, eat, you know. So it was nice. So I was like, you know what? Um, um, I, to be quite honest, I didn't know. I, I thought doing medicine science, it was to be a doctor or something. I was like, I want to be a doctor. I'm scared of blood. So I... Uh, uh, People tell me good I'm outspoken, so I'm gonna study law. I remember um, grade twelve, uh, Jan, March, exam, March test. I wrote my math and science. <clears throat> then, as we were approaching June, remember after June, it's immediately prelims and finals. I was like, guys, uh -uh, I wanna do um, history. I wanna do like history. I wanna change. And I remember speaking to my teachers. My teachers were so disappointed. Good girl, why, why, why? I was like, no, I can't. This is not what I want to do. This is not for me. I don't, my, I don't see myself studying this. I see myself being a lawyer, being, you know, being there, talking, you know, defending people and stuff. And I remember, guys, I remember my teachers were so disappointed. But finally, they agreed to me changing and every teacher who told me they were like but why but why but why and it was only two weeks before um we write our june exams and i remember i didn't study i went for two weeks and that two weeks we were even not doing even anything ah uh, people were fixing their files oh sorry let me my phone sorry i'm back so guys um i remember People were fixing their files and things and stuff and I was there and um, I remember being the only one who passed in the class in June exams. <laughs> Guys, it was so funny. Like, it was so funny. I was like, what's going on? Like, kids are kids in this class. You've been doing this from grade 10. You've been doing history, geography life sciences like from great 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 10 and here you are i've been here for two weeks i don't even know anything i haven't studied i, I knew nothing and i remember my teacher saying no if even if you fail or even if you don't do well we'll forgive you because of you've been here for only two weeks but after that you have to pull up your socks because prelims are coming and finals are coming and I, I, I'm, I'm the only one who passed. Like, how come, guys? How come? Then I was like, ay, 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 no, 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 no. And I remember them saying that um, they made me pass because the teacher was teaching history, apparently, is our um, debate. It was our debating coach, right? So he knows me and he made me pass, blah, 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 blah. I was not gonna pass because I'm the favorite and I was like okay probably maybe I was supposed to fail maybe they made me pass we don't know but only God knows right let's go now we did prelims we passed prelims okay I did not know who failed what I didn't care I remember writing my final exams and um there's a whole lot of shandy that happened um I went on days that I was supposed to not write and they were like, you're not writing. On days that I was supposed to write, I didn't come. My teachers had to come home and be like, girl, you're writing. Come, rush, right? So I went and uh, I wrote. And I remember saying to myself, I don't know how many people passed. I don't know how many people failed. But what I know is that I'm amongst the people who passed. 
if it's one person who passed, I'm among the one, I'm amongst the one person. I don't care. But day before uh, results, I remember crying, crying, crying. Like, what if I failed? I didn't know this. I didn't study. People had an advantage of, girl. Guess what? I passed. I passed, I got a bachelor, I got one distinction, I got, um, I passed very well from my school, um, Uspepelo was the highest who passed, and I was the second highest, and Umtuduzi or this, yeah, Umtuduzi was the third, I remember getting a call and they're like, okay, you got a buzzery and stuff, and I was like, buzzery, my mom was like, don't go, it's flat by night, and I remember calling my teacher and be like, they're calling me, they're saying, I got a buzzery. Is it true? He was like, no, just go. It's true. I went, bruh. I went. And I remember seeing Unum Vulam Konyani there issuing buzzers. I was like, ah, mama, I made it. Mama, I made it. Mama, I made it. I made it. I made it. And um, I remember my dream was like, actually, I want to work because of... um circumstances i was like i want to work i want money like i can't go to school but after getting the buzzer it was like girl this is an opportunity for a lifetime just grab it with both hands go study i went i studied things were cool things were nice i finished i got i got it and stuff and i remember getting a job before i finished school got a job Got a job, then I was like, uh -huh, I'm going to work. Loko kunye, loko kunye, you, you want to go further, you want to practice, you want to be an art. No, 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 I'm getting paid, I'm getting paid, I'm getting money. I was there thinking, you know what, 15 tau, it's enough, 15k, it's a lot. I'm like, never, I'm going, I'm going to a fair salary, never, going to work and um yeah i went to work but what made me uh, actually want to study law it's this um number one um it had to it had to be with me having to have that confidence that this is what i can do this is what i love doing i love presenting myself i love talking um, you can put me in a room of um, 50,000 people that i've never met trust me i'll present myself as if I've known these people for years, for long. So that's how good I am with um, presenting myself. And I was like, okay, I'm outspoken. I did debate, so let me do it, right? Um, number two, obviously, it had to be me having to fulfill my purpose. It was okay. What is my purpose, right? Everybody has a purpose in this life. Everybody, unkulunkulu brought them in this world to do something okay what is it that god brought me here to do and i was like okay with law it's me having to be the voice for people who cannot speak for themselves for people who cannot present themselves for people like myself who are women who are like you know what so i was like okay i want to help people who cannot speak for themselves who are introverts who are like okay i can't present myself then i can be your voice you can speak to me and i can present um present for you or speak on your behalf in a room of full of people and uh you have you'll have that confidence that you know what with me my thoughts and uh, that voice i'm gonna win this case so um obviously i wanted as well number three to channel my energy into the right direction um I grew up being told oh, when we are kulum, ah, you talk too much, ah, keep quiet, ah, we are papa, you know. And um, I remember having a problem with that. It's okay, why do us people who are who are outspoken have have to be bashed or have to be made to feel guilty for being outspoken? But um, we have to understand now and then when people are quiet, like, no, but Utulile, no, she's quiet, you guys, don't force her. But so I, I, I struggled with it to be like, why do you want me to accept the kind of person that you are, but you don't want me uh, to accept the person that I am? So I was like, you know what, let me channel my energy into the right direction. Instead of just being Okuluma, papa, being outspoken for Intos Asistratin, let me channel it into the right things, into the right energy, whereby people are going to be like, after speaker, be like, Leanto Mazani, 
she's the she's the it girl she's she did it that one she did it you know she's you know yeah I, I wanted that you know so that's why I chose to study law and what uh, happened again it, it's because um, this is quite personal as well it's because of GBV uh, gender-based violence um, I grew up in a gender-based violent a family whereby uh, my mom would abuse my dad uh, my mom could not speak um, my, my dad will make us situle, you know, whenever we would go to social workers, he'd sit with us and be like, yeah, yeah, if you protect your mom, yeah, the, you will stay with your mom and you will suffer, you know, you know, those kind of things. Yeah, so he would make us say good things about him so that he does not get into trouble, so that we are not taken away from him and uh, stuff so i realized that women cannot speak for themselves and i want to be that voice i want to be that voice like i want to be that voice like that voice bra when i be that voice that energy i want to be all that for women and for me it was quite interesting and it was quite nice and it was like you know what this is the best decision one could have ever taken my dad though wanted me to be an accountant because of money wise my dad loved money he wanted us to count money it, it was all about money but i was like no this is for me this is the road for me right um number uh, four is the number four three four five i don't know okay yeah that one i wanted to give back sorry i i i wanted to give back to to the community I wanted to give back to the community. I wanted the career that will allow me to give back to, 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 to my fellow sisters, to my fellow brothers, to my fellow neighbors who can afford probably legal sorry, representation. I was like, okay, there's something that's called pro bono work that you can do for people for free and and legal advice. Like now I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm giving on my channel legal advice for free um you know some going to an attorney to get some information it will be costly so even if you go to an attorney at least you will be having an idea of what to expect and it will be quite easier for you and you will not spend longer time in the consultation room because they will be charging you based on the time wasted in the consultation room so yep so um I number six or five I don't know um I wanted to do it because I wanted to fight for justice I realized that there were a lot of injustices that were done uh, to our parents and um, in, 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 in the apartheid days um, in terms of houses in terms of um, dump asses in terms of them not affording legal representation you know I want to bring I wanted to bring justice to the injustices that were done in the past I wanted to be the voice for women uh, for rape people who are being raped I wanted to be that voice I wanted to be the voice guys I wanted to be the voice I wanted to be there behind the scenes um, amending the law making the laws giving advices giving my opinion to say yeah but uh, this 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 one man this one, I'm, I'm speaking for my black community, for my black brothers, for my black sisters, you know, this is, this is not for us, you know, I wanted to be sitting in the table with big guns, you know, yeah, to be that, you know, I wanted to be that. But number seven, most importantly, I wanted money, guys. Ah. <laughs> Chidi, I wanted money. I I'm not gonna lie and come here and be like I do not want money are you that studying this I'm gonna have money I'm gonna make money and I was like okay why not and this is the, the best opportunity for me to make money and I was like okay I can make money I can survive you know because at the end of the day guys we cannot lie and say we're doing all this not because of money 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 is the factor as well 
because without money you cannot survive we've got families we've got fees to pay we've got you know especially if you wanna feather your studies you know and the nice thing about um studying law guys you don't need to be an attorney you don't need to be there speaking and be like uh your honor no you can work behind the scenes you can be a, a work for a company and be a legal advisor you can um uh be a consultant you can you can open your own law firm you can do a whole lot of things um that um you want to do you know i know that a lot of people are like this profession is saturated there's a lot of people and a uh, law it's generic yes law it's generic but uh, i think it's up to you saying okay we all studied we studied law right but i will need that one thing that will separate me from the rest i'm not like the rest i'm me i'm unique um what is it that uh, sets me apart from the rest and once you realize that and once you grab that then you will see that you know what actually uh you on the right path so you have to be like okay what wh what is it what is it that i can do you know um people that people don't know they think that law is all about criminal law criminals family divorces there's energy law whereby you can choose after to study further be uh, study energy energy air law there's 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 law when it comes to the air there's marine law you know law when it comes to the sea the waters everything you can you can be a legal advisor to your escoms to your sasso to your acelo metal to your you know this big companies you can be there you can be their legal advisor you can you you can do a whole lot of things guys a law it's not just criminals you know i know um, for, um let me say um, in my career, there was a time where I was skeptical into quitting my career uh, because of I thought would I representing criminals, people who kill, people who rape, no. And I realized that no, it's not all about that. You can choose the path that you wanna take, and if this is not the path that you wanna take trust me it's up to you you can choose not to take it and you can take another path and yeah i must say all in all um, i don't regret uh choosing the career that i chose and i'm still evolving i'm still growing in this career i'm still learning myself i'm still finding myself in terms of what i wanna do where do i see myself um okay if i want to see myself there how do i place myself on the right direction or on the right path so that whatever that i do it leads me to that uh direction and i must say guys um this is this is the best career um i could have chosen i love my career i love my career i love my career and now i'm here on youtube giving you know speaking to you guys speaking to you guys you know yeah i'm loving my career and yeah i can't wait if you've got any questions you can hit the comment section then i'll be there to answer thank you so much for tuning into my channel i can't wait guys to see you on my next upload love you so much